All right, all right, geometry, what's up? Let's do this. This video is going to be on similar polygons. Um, so similar polygons are going to be figures that are the exact same shape, but they're different sizes. Okay? Um, to make that happen with polygons, the sides have to have the same ratio, but the angles have to be congruent. And by the time we're done talking about this example, you will understand why. So when I say the ratio of the sides are the same, basically what you're going to be doing is, in an order of your choice or depending on the problem, if we were looking at these triangles down here, the ratio of sides would be the corresponding sides written as a fraction. So AB over XY. And then we would see that AC matches up with XZ and finally, we have BC, which matches up with YZ. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about by the ratios. And if we were to look at every single one of those with the given dimensions here, we have 3 over 6 for this one. This one we had 5 over 10. And BC over YZ was 4 over 8. And if you reduced every single one of those fractions, they would all simplify to one half, okay? So AB is half of XY. But the angles all have to be the same, and here's why. If we see that this is getting bigger, we can't double the angles, because if this angle became 106 and this angle became uh, 74 and this angle right here became 180, we're now adding up angles of a triangle that exceed 180 degrees. That's why the angles have to stay the same. Okay, so the angles will be congruent, but the sides will have different measurements, but they will all be with the same ratio. Okay, so the last thing we need to talk about is a scale factor. The scale factor of ABC to triangle XYZ is 2. Now let me explain how we come up with that. So basically what you're asking is, what do I need to multiply triangle ABC by to get triangle XYZ? That's basically what you're asking yourself. So triangle ABC times your scale factor is going to give you the size of triangle X, Y, Z. So what you want to do is you want to look at this really quick and say that triangle ABC is going to need to be multiplied by something to make it bigger to give you triangle X, Y, Z. So to get from 3 to 6, we need to multiply the triangle by 2. So the scale factor is actually 2 to 1. Okay, so you're going to make ABC bigger by a factor of 2 to get triangle XYZ. Okay? So that's basically what similar polygons are. Same shape, different sizes. Not all triangles are, the sim are going to be similar because you might have triangles with different angle measurements that are still triangles, obviously. So you have to make sure you understand they have to have the same angle measures, okay? So now, while we're looking at scale factor, we're going to decide what the scale factor of rectangle ABCD to rectangle WXYZ is. So again, this is where you ask yourself, ABCD times what scale factor is going to give me WXYZ. So we see that rectangle ABCD has sides 4 and 8, and WXYZ have sides 2 and 4. So in this case, we need to multiply the big one by a scale factor of 1 half to give us those lengths. So here we go. Here's an easy way to do this. All you have to do is take a side length of this piece 
So we're using the top four over one of the originals. Top piece was eight. You could also use the left, which would give you two over four, and then you just reduce it, and we're still going to get one half. Okay? So the scale factor from the big one to the little one is one to two. Okay? One other thing we need to be able to do with similar figures is find the missing lengths. So to do that, that's going to go back to side ratios. The first thing you want to do is find a set of sides that match. So we have 4 over x. We have 12 over 3. And we have y over 4. When you're setting up your ratios, you need to be able to be consistent. So if you're going to start with the big one and go to the little one, all of them should be written as big over small. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to find one that has something you can work with. So in this case, we could just set 12 over 3 equal to 4 over x, and we can set 12 over 3 equal to y over 4. And this is why we talked about cross multiplying first. To solve for x, you just cross multiply. So we have 12x is equal to 12, which means x is equal to 1. And if you think about it this way, we have 4, 1 fourth of that is 1. We look at this guy, 1 fourth of 12 is 3. And then all you have to do is cross multiply with the other one. 12 times 4 is 48, and that's equal to 3y. So y is equal to 16, which makes sense because to go from here to here, it's going to get bigger. So there you have it. And then you can compare all of these. 4 over 1 is 4, 12 over 3 is 4, 16 over 4 is 4. They all have the same ratio, so you are good to go. Last example is on you. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try. What I will tell you is you will have to set up your ratio first, cross multiply, solve for x, but then the question is find the scale factor. So after you find x, go find the scale factor. Pause the video, give it a try. We'll see how you do with the play-by-play. -play. After that, we're good to go. Pause it. All right, let's see how you did. Um, so what you want to do again is find your matching sides. So 3 is going to match up with x plus 3, and 6 is going to match up with 3x plus 4. So what you want to do is set up that ratio. So you're going to have 3 over x plus 3 is equal to, make sure you go in the same order, 6 over 3x plus 4. Do your cross multiplying. 9x plus 12 is equal to 6x plus 18. Solve for x, you get 3x is equal to 6, so x is equal to 2. So we found x, but now we have to use x to come up with the scale factor that will turn the small figure into the big figure. So we already know these are 3 and 6, so let's take 2 and substitute it in, and we are going to get 5, and this guy down here is going to give us 10. So what is our scale factor? So again, as we did in the problem above, you need to ask yourself, what do we need to multiply 3 by to give us 5? Or what do we need to multiply 6 by to give us 10? Or use the shortcut. Take 5, put it on top of 3, and you have your scale factor. All right, that's it for this video on similarity. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.